Kelly Tarleton's Sea Life Aquarium, formerly Kelly Tarleton's Underwater World, is a public aquarium in Auckland, New Zealand that was opened in 1985. Located at 23 Tamaki Drive, it was the brainchild of New Zealand marine archaeologist and diver Kelly Tarleton (1937–1985). Built in disused sewage storage tanks, the aquarium used a new form of acrylic shaping, which allowed curved tunnels rather than viewing areas with flat panels only, as in previous aquariums. The project is also one of the first to use conveyor belts to slowly move people through the viewing areas. Topic: History. In 1983, Kelly Tarleton proposed building an aquarium in unused sewage tanks underground on the Auckland waterfront. Fish would be viewed through a long acrylic tunnel. The aquarium opened in 1985 after 10 months of construction. Tarleton developed a new method of building an acrylic tunnel by taking large sheets of clear acrylic, cutting them to size and heating them in an oven until they took the shape of the mold. Some of the sheets weighed over one ton. Because of the refraction caused by light traveling through water, and the acrylic sheets used in the creation of the tunnel, the fish appear to be one-third smaller than they are. A 110-meter tunnel was created in sewage storage tanks that had been unused since the 1960s. The tanks are located below the suburb of Orake, on Tamaki Drive and overlooking the Waitemata Harbour. Once the tunnels were in place and the tanks filled to test for leaks none were found, a seascape of caves and reefs was created using concrete before the basins were filled in one section with a careful selection of more than 1,800 marine creatures. Another section was filled with sharks including bronze whaler, sevengill shark, wobbegong, school shark and stingrays. The sharks are only held for a short period of time before being released back into the area where they were. In 1994 the facility was expanded to include a replica of the hut used by Captain Robert Falcon Scott on his tragic expedition to Antarctica as well as a colony of Antarctic penguins in a climate controlled exhibit. In December 2004, the aquarium opened Stingray Bay, which features a giant 350,000 litre US gal open topped tank that is 2.6 metres 8 feet 6 .4 in at its deepest point and constructed of crystal clear acrylic for optimum viewing. In 2008, Village Roadshow purchased the facility for NZD $13 million. Village Roadshow also owns Sydney Aquarium, Oceanworld Manly, Sea World Gold Coast, and other venues. In December 2010, Kelly Tarleton's received five new sand tiger sharks from the USA. In 2011, Village Roadshow sold Kelly Tarleton's Underwater World and other Sydney based attractions to the Merlin Entertainments Group. In March 2012 Merlin Entertainments announced a $5.5 million upgrade introducing new exhibits, a new layout and a more interactive experience, due to open in September 2012. As part of the expansion the aquarium was rebranded Kelly Tarleton's Sea Life Aquarium, bringing it in line with Merlin Entertainments Global Sea Life Center's brand. The upgrade and rebranding was launched on 29 September 2012. Facilities The aquarium's main features are the Antarctic Encounter and the Underwater World, but it also includes several other exhibits and several education rooms. Antarctic Ice Adventure and Scott Base formerly Antarctic Encounter This exhibit was opened in 1994, and is the first exhibit encountered by visitors. Visitors can view the aquarium's penguins through glass in their temperature-controlled habitat. Visitors then pass through a recreation of the hut used by Captain Robert Falcon Scott during his South Pole expedition in 1912. The aquarium has a colony of king penguins and gentoo penguins. The ride also has other features relating to Antarctica and its exploration. 
Niwa Southern Oceans Discovery, formerly Niwa Interactive Room. This room is located adjacent to Stingray Bay and aims to educate children about the marine world and Antarctica while entertaining them. Stingray Bay is a 350,000 liter, 92,000 US gal open-topped acrylic tank. This tank contains two species of stingray and other smaller fish species including kingfish, blue mau mau and Phoebe, a 250 kg short tail stingray with a 2 m wingspan. This area of the aquarium has a refreshment kiosk. Pacific Shark Zone and Shipwreck Explorer, formerly Underwater World, the original part of the aquarium. This 110 meter (360 feet) acrylic tunnel takes visitors through two tanks which can hold up to 2000 animals. The first tank or predator tank is filled mainly with shark species and holds about 1 million US gallons L), while the second tank has mainly schooling fish such as blue mau mau. Fish Gallery and Seahorse Kingdom formerly sea creatures, this area contains smaller aquariums usually filled with single species. Here you can find, two tropical marine tanks, red-bellied piranha, an octopus, seahorses, moray eels, crayfish plus stonefish and pufferfish in the poisonous and venomous fish tank. Adjacent to this area is the gift shop which also contains the exit. Topic. Activities For a fee, visitors can join the fish in a shark cage encounter or cage less shark encounter shark dive extreme. Experienced dive professionals act as guides during these swims, and help ensure that the experience is safe. <laughs>